One of the magical things about egg donation, of course, is that it makes possible pregnancy in essentially anyone with a uterus. So we discovered early on in the practice of egg donation that the age of the recipient did not matter as far as implantation is concerned. So a woman is just as likely to get pregnant with a donor egg when she's 45 as she is when she's 35 or even 25. That was a key element of what made egg donation a reality and why it is being used as widely as it is. So really the limitation has to be what else is going on in her life that would make her a good mom or maybe not such a good mom and typically that involves medical issues, health issues and so forth. So part of the screening of the older patients has to be cardiovascular reserve, uh, health uh, uh, determination to make sure that this patient is going to be able to uh, carry the pregnancy to term and then have a healthy delivery. And we know that there has been reports in the media of women in their 60s, now even most recently, even in their 70s, becoming pregnant. So we know it's possible. So the age limit is not going to be based on the chronological age. It's going to have to be based on other health issues. In our study, in our study of women over 50 conceiving with egg donation, we found a remarkable increase in preeclampsia and other obstetrical complications after the age of 50. And we felt that this reached the limit of tolerability at about 54. So we insist that all of our patients are pregnant by their 54th birthday, so they deliver prior to 55, because it was a 55 and older patients who had the 60% incidence of preeclampsia that we thought was too high. So that's our age limit. Most clinics in the United States use around 50 or thereabouts.